Oh, ultimate cap. Man, this is my personal most anticipated figure from the Build a Figure Hit Monkey series. Yes, ultimate cap. Oh, man. All right, I'm really excited about this review. This really was more anticipated than uh, than Hyperion and Red She-Hulk for me, uh, just because I'm a big Ultimates fan. But above that, I'm a huge Ultimate, I'm a huge Captain America fan. So I'm glad to see a new uh, new rendition in the uniform with some extra goodies. Here's the artwork by Crane. Pretty cool. Looks like they're drawing all the artwork to uh, suit the character. Uh, as the toy. America's first super soldier battles evil wherever it arises. So, uh, yeah, man. Bam! Right off the bat, I love the head sculpt. A um, lot of cool things about this figure. Man, it seems like it's a hate-love relationship with Hasbro right now. You know, I hate them, and I love some of the figures, and, you know, I mean, like, uh, you know, Captain America, my favorite character. Ah, they just... I wish they would get them perfect, and they just don't sometimes, you know, they just, sometimes, they just don't every time. This is the second time they give us Cap uh, with no stars on their shoulders. Anyways, um, here is his shield, the common shield we've been seeing with all our Captain America figures, same mold. It's got the peg and the arm, uh, the arm peg, I guess you would call it, or arm grip. Here's the head sculpt, really cool head sculpt, I love it. Uh, it's so accurate for me, man. I read a lot of the Ultimate comics. Um, the chin, I was going to complain about the chin, but then I started thinking, like, wait a minute. Hmm. That chin looks familiar. And then it hit me, man. That chin is the same one we got on our Super Soldier Steve Rogers head. So if you want to get an unmasked version of your Ultimate Cap, all you got to do is pop off that head on your Steve and oh man let's see if it fits fits like a glove oh look at that man <laughs> that is so cool so <laughs> that's awesome man so it's almost like we get two figures in one huh now we can swap these heads around that is so cool anyways let me put this head back on so that's that's a cool factor right there I guess you would call it a fun factor like junior says um, here is the jacket and the belt. Uh, let's check it out. Looks like they finally uh, painted some of the uh, silver buckles silver, which is cool, right? And uh, man, I like this. I actually like the fact that he comes with a bunch of stuff, you know, some smoke bombs or grenades, whatever those may be. A sword. I wish the sword was, uh, I mean sword, uh, knife. I wish that knife was removable. Um, big satchel. But um, looking at this, you know, I mean, I like the extras. Um, it looks like they got the paint right. They got the uh, gray. That's supposed to be gray right there, right under the arm. So that's cool. Um, just curious to see how it is under the jacket. But uh, great sculpt. Few few little issues again, you know, mostly articulation. Uh, no, some articulation and some um, paint. So uh, I like the fact that they gave him a fist on his right hand. He's a he's a he's a hand combat character. So finally, that's cool. You can punch away now. I like the sculpt on those gloves too. Really nice. So, so accurate, man. These these boots too. They nail the boots. Um, the boots have a little bit of you can't see the wash in, but they have a little bit of a wash in there. Um, got all that great articulation. So. Ah oh, man, yeah, this this figure, I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. Um, now this is uh, this is uh, this is these are definitely cool, man. I can't get off these boots. They got the pegs. Awesome, man. All right, this is the crap I'm talking about. See that? That's uh, that's molded in there. Why would you do that? That's horrible. Why the hell would you do that? Why not just give us a real holster with a real gun? Oh, just killing me. And then the stars on the shoulders again. Ultimate Cap is supposed to have a red circle with stars on the shoulders. And again, disappointed, man. No stars on the shoulders. Uh, let's go ahead and remove the vest and see what we got going under the vest to give him a more, give him a more uh, ultimate feel and... Uh, more of an accurate ultimate look. Ah, pretty cool, man. You know, I I I like it, man. I like it. 
just uh gosh the stars again like it looks like i'm gonna have to customize those stars and right under the armpit it's supposed to be gray just like it is under the arm gray it's supposed to be gray in this section right here right under the armpit um and that's how it is in the ultimate comics so that's uh another paint issue there um you know just they could have they could have really made this figure just a solid 10 for me um and they're so close, man. That's why I say love-hate relationship with these guys, dude. They just, they don't they don't go that little extra mile, man. They could really just blow things over the top. Oh, looks uh, looks like the, the utility belt is removable, too. So that's really cool, though. You can actually take that off. You know, I'm glad they're packing two ultimate caps per case because now um, this utility belt, let's take a look at it. Um, if you want it to look more accurate, you just cut it right there with the, an X-Acto knife. Um, maybe you can cut these, uh, these grenades off as well. And the knife, cut it, you can cut it there if you want to leave the grenades in the back. Or just cut all those off. And, um, for sure cut the satchel off. And then go across, cut the belt. And you'll have an accurate, an accurate ultimate cap belt, uh, without all the extras. So, I'm kind of glad I'm getting two. That way I could have one with his vest and utility belt. One with the normal utility belt without the vest. So... That's pretty cool. Um, now, um, now we know this uh, this mold. This is the shield agent mold. Um, you know, got all the articulation that we like. Ah, oh, that man, that's killing me right there. I'm gonna have to change that and paint the star. Ah, uh, simple things that they could just take care of. You know, looks all the way down, looks all the way up. No, he looks uh, back just like just as much as Hyperion, but remember, this is this is a Toy Biz mold, so don't get too excited. God, I want to rant about those shoulders, man. <laughs> All right, let's just get past that. Um, good ab crunch, right? So it lets him look just straight down, which is really cool. Um, we got the uh, waist swivel, right? We got the uh, ball joint shoulders, right? Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. And here we've got the uh, forearm swivel, right? Only bad part is we didn't get uh, we didn't get posable hands. We've got that Y joint, so you got to rotate that to get that positioned. Double jointed knees, right? Then we've got the um, boot swivel, right? Calf swivel, and uh, we're sitting on a peg to be able to do the uh, the ankle pivot. So got all the articulation that we need and like you'll be able to get all those amazing poses out of him not a problem this right here pegs perfectly well it's not loose it's nice and tight um, the plastic is molded color so you don't have to worry about paint chipping or any of that stuff fits nice and snug in the back in the peg so there you go man ultimate cap real nice let's put on his jacket and uh, get him ready for some uh, size comparisons Here is next to Bucky Cap and next to the other Steve Rogers, which I personally thought was just a tad bit too tall, man. Uh, remember I was talking about him being just a little too tall? I think this Ultimate Cap is perfect in scale, man. Perfect. Um, like I said, I, I just felt that Steve was just way too tall. Um, and here he is. He's not really that much taller than the Ultimate Cap. See that? Now here he is with Bucky Cap. I just think it's a perfect scale, man. He's just a tad, he's a tad bit taller, right? So he kind of has to look down at Bucky a bit, which is, uh, for me, this is, this is in scale for me. So, uh, great job on the scale, Hasbro. Awesome. And the fact that I can interchange the heads, I'm liking the fact that they're going with ball, ball pig, uh, joints for the head. Great, great. That's awesome. So, um, Oh, man, honestly, I'll, I'll give this figure, ah, because of that gun holster and the shoulders, I'll give it about an 8. Um, great figure. I love the shield agent body mold. I mean, it doesn't even look obvious on this character. And, you know, uh, they gave us a lot of new additions, a, a jacket, a new utility belt, uh, new boots, uh, new head sculpt, new, uh, new hands, which is great. Hands could have used some articulation, but other than that, Awesome fig. Anyways, this is part of Wave 4, and he'll be available at the end of January 2013. Get you some!